Welcome to the Great Yorkshire Traction Engine Club Steam and Vintage Rally 2024 from Duncan Park. First traction engine that we come across is a Richard Hornsby and Son number 6759 Sir John William. Built in 1888 as an 8 nominal horsepower direct ploughing engine. It went over to Tasmania and was returned to the UK in 1995 to be restored. Next is the first of several Aveling and Porter steam road rollers. Number 4403, Lady Olivia. It's a class R10 single cranked 10 ton roller, built in 1899 at the Aveling and Porter factory in Rochester, Kent. It sat in a shed for over 50 years before it was returned to working condition in 2021. It's attended a few shows since it was restored, but this is its first time at Duncan Park. Next up is a Fowler Class A9 road locomotive, Peter Pan, built in 1928 as number 18252 for Germany, returned to Fowler's in 1933 and modified as a heavy roller for Angus County Council and renumbered number 20434. It worked at Currymuir, the birthplace of GM Barry, author of Peter Pan purchased partly restored in 2017 and now restored to its original condition. Another Fowler of Leeds engine, number 17506 Little Dawn, originally built in 1928 as a road roller. It worked for Reading Tar and Grouting Company, bought by her driver when retired in the early 1960s. It had two further owners before being sold in 2009, after which it was changed into a showman style engine and a great job they've done too. Staying with Fowlers of Leeds we have another showman's engine that started life as a road roller built in 1927 as a class DNC roller. In 1984 it was changed to a showman style engine and has had several owners since then. Moving on is another Aveling and Porter this time a class A 10 ton road roller Built in 1923. Number 10707, Pegasus, worked from new at Crook Urban District Council. It retired in 1962. After a period in the West Midlands, it returned to the North East in 2018. And since then, its current owner and his team take it on the road to events around the North East. Another roller, but this time an Armstrong and Whitworth. Number 12R11 Albert is a 12 ton road roller built in 1923. It worked for Bishop Auckland Council until it retired in 1960. It moved to Cumbria and then to Northumberland in preservation but was never taken to rallies. It returned to County Durham in 2018 and has been to many rallies since. Next up is a traction engine from Charles Burrell and Son in Thetford of Norfolk. Number 2696, the Maori, a double crank compound engine built in 1904. This big engine was shipped to New Zealand where it worked until it retired. It was repatriated to the UK over 40 years ago. WM Alchin Limited of Globe Works Northampton provides the next traction engine. Number 1377, Lady Anne, is a six horsepower traction engine. It was listed in the programme as named Our Mary. This machine came back from Australia in an extremely derelict state, needing many parts and a lot of TLC before being returned to steam in 2021. Next we come across another Fowler of Leeds engine. This one is a class B5, 8 horsepower, compound road locomotive that weighs 13 and a half tonnes. Number 9544 Dalton Boy, built in 1902 for use in Australia. It's been with its present owner since 1980. Another Alchim machine that spent its working life in Australia is number 1342, Lady Olivia. 
built in 1907. It's a seven horsepower traction engine. It returned to the UK in very poor condition for restoration in 2012. And it was first steamed back in 2016. Next up is a Fowler of Leeds Showman's engine. Class A5, number 11108, Dreadnought. is a 7 horsepower, 12 ton beast. New in 1909 to J. Birch of Tollington from the Royal Shore as a road locomotive. Later overhauled by Fowlers and converted to a Showman's engine for W. Cole of Ilminster, bought for preservation in 1953 and extensively renovated over four years between 1998 and 2001. Another Burrow traction engine is number 2051 Beaver. This single cylinder 8 horsepower 12 ton engine dates from 1897 and has come to Yorkshire from Haverford West over the winter months. So this is the first visit to Duncan Park. Another Ray of Lingham Porter road roller, number 10374, Silver Cloud. A D-Class 4 horsepower 8 ton machine. Was new to Kidderminster Borough Council in 1922. Moved to Cornwall in 1962 and it came to live in Yorkshire in 2016. Next up is a Fowler Showman's engine with its extendable chimney in position. Number 17077 Forest Maiden was built in 1929. It worked as a roller with Reading Tower and Grout Company and it was sold in 1961. It was found in pieces in the 1980s and rebuilt to showman's specifications by Mick Brain. It moved to Yorkshire in 2012. Most steam engines at the shore are about 100 years old, give or take a few years. Here we have a two year old, a road haulage tractor of an original design from WM Fosters & Co Limited from the Wellington Foundry in Lincoln. The engine was built over a period of eight years by the owner in his home workshop to the original drawings using castings and patterns provided by David Ragdale, now given the number 14744 and named Scout. Next up is a Marshall and Sons Company Limited from Britannia Works in Gainsborough in Lincolnshire. This is number 35554 Old Glass, a 7 horsepower 10 ton traction engine built in 1901 new to the Whitlock family in Essex for general farming work and had major restoration work completed in 2015. The only steam wagon at the show was this Yorkshire patent steam wagon company limited from the Vulcan Works in Hunsworth in Leeds. Number 117 Denby Maiden. It's a two ton wagon built in 1905 and is the oldest survivor of its make. It was discovered derelict on a Welsh hill farm and given a total rebuild in the 1970s, then given a further makeover by the current owners. Other engines at the show included this Marshall 32092 Black Bess, this Fowler Road Roller number 16934, also here is this Showman's engine from Burrell, General Goff. There were a few other engines that I didn't get to film, but here in the ring we have the customary whistle blast that is normally accompanied on all of these shows. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, I read them all, and I try to answer as many as I can. If you want to see more traction engines, then click on the link on screen now or in the description, and I'll see you there.